What's up guys, Eric, I'm out here with the new Arma Outcast 8S. Uh, definitely uh, want to give this thing a quick rip. Um, this thing is absolutely beautiful. Uh, the body is beautiful. The, you know, the color they use is absolutely outstanding. That's, that's actually one of my favorite colors. Um, and I'm loving these, uh, and these uh, big uh, back flips right here. Um, the foams feel really nice. I did go ahead and vent these. Um, and also I did go ahead, I'm not going to open the truck up, but you guys pretty much know what it looks like on the inside. It's all stock electronics. Um, I did go up to a 23 tooth pinion. I wasn't even going to bother with, with the stock one, uh, you know, the 19 tooth, because I definitely need some more speed. And I bumped up the uh, ESC to a uh, max punch, uh, punch five. Um, I'm running stock, uh, stock diffs in it. Everything else is stock other than those uh, few changes right there. I did throw some Gorilla Tape under this body, uh, just, just to, you know, just to kind of help it out a little bit. I don't have a whole lot of time, so this is going to be kind of just a quick first, first bash with it. Um, and also, you know, the chassis. Uh, uh, Mitch from M2C is already um, on making a chassis for this, so it's not going to be long. Um, I'm definitely going to run this, you know, for a little bit and see how she holds up. Um, but you know, just be looking out for that uh, soon enough. So, all right, guys, let's give this thing a quick rip. See what's up. Guys, this thing is so butter smooth. Oh, just barely clipped that rock. Oh, not quite. That was a hard hit. Oh, there's LVC. <laughs> it's a good thing it did that before it went off the top of the hill. Guys, this thing handles great. He's a short wheel pace. Big girl hits hard. All right, guys, I'm back in the studio after the runs. I just wanted to go ahead and uh, just go, you know, go over any any breakages and uh, bendages and stuff like that. You know, my thoughts of the truck. Uh, first of all, the truck did amazing. I'm, I'm you know, really loving it. Uh, the tires did very well. I mean, they're super plush and they got killer grip. Uh, and, and again, it's a nice option, you know, even for the, uh, you know, for the 8S Creighton. Um, the body, the body held up good. 
I don't even really see any cracks in it. Just a few few scuffs from a couple of a couple of rollies. Um, it looks like, as you can see, first of all, I did I did bust a rod end right here, which is an easy fix. I mean, that's that's called for. I think that's an easy easy thing to you know to replace. Just keep a pack of those with you. Um, the shock shafts did did bend a little bit. As you can see on that one right there. <laughs> and on the back, that one's bent pretty bad. Uh, but you know, I mean, for a 25 pound truck to be taking airs like that, that's that's gonna be completely normal. Um, but you know, but, you know, but again, M2C uh, does have shock shafts for this. Um, so that's definitely not an issue. I'm you know, definitely gonna be uh, switching out all four of these with M2C uh, before the next run. Um, I did bust a battery strap right here, which that's, that's no big deal. Um, I did bust this, uh, this uh, little rod end right here for the front brace, but I did replace that because I didn't want to run the truck, uh, you know, with that with that broke off. But again, that's an easy fix. Um, as far as the chassis goes, get this big girl turned around. The chassis actually looks pretty straight. I'm not sure if I'm catching this in the camera. Uh, if, you know, for what it took, um, I'm you know definitely amazed. We'll put a put a ruler up to it. I'm not sure if I'm catching this in the in the uh, frame. It is a little tweaked right here about the center. You know, it's definitely, you know, worked probably three, four millimeters, but that's not bad, you know, considering considering what it took. Uh, moderate to light bashing, there'd be no issue at all. Almost positive, you know, with the extra bracing that Arma put in here, uh, you know, which definitely helps. Uh, you know, the truck, the truck definitely has, has, you know, has some power with the stock electronics, but I'm uh, gonna be going to uh, probably the uh, old Hobby Star uh, system in it, you know, just to be able to get that ballistic uh, uh, power and a torque and stuff or, you know, triple, double, triple backflips in the air. An awesome time out there and a huge, uh, you know, huge shout out to Arma for, for replacing these uh, Spectrum remotes, uh, you know, with the DX3. This is so much better. I mean, it feels a whole lot better. The, the uh, trigger feels much, much better, more, more tension on the spring um, and the range and all that seems to be a lot more too. So, uh, you know, big shout out to you guys for that. Uh, huge improvement. And overall, you know, the truck is awesome. You know, I can't wait to get it out again. And we'll make a few more tweaks on it, upgrade the shock shafts. And uh, we'll hopefully be getting some uh, some bigger electronics in it soon. And uh, overall, it was awesome. A uh, big shout out to uh, Armin Horizon Hobby. And uh, we'll see you guys again next time. RC Dude 81. Peace out.